Welcome back. Six months van life. What's it been like? Woohoo! <laughs> Bloody amazing. I've adapted to it really well. And uh, I think that's due to the car camping that I was doing 12 months previous to buying the van. So, yeah. And to be honest, six months has gone like that. Yeah. Yeah, it was September last year when I finally moved into the van and I moved. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been pretty good to be honest. There are downsides, but I'd say 90% is good time. You get the 10%, but you'll always get that, even if you're living in sticks and bricks, you know, or a caravan, motorhome, whatever. You're gonna get that uh, the odd times where you're not feeling it and stuff, but yeah, I've been quite positive. So yeah, just getting on with it, and uh, yeah, it's bloody fantastic. <laughs> and you all know me, always, always got time for a coffee. Oh my god, yes, you don't drink coffee, do you? No, you don't drink coffee. No. <laughs> I'd say the hard, one of the hardest parts for me living in this van is keeping the dog hair down. I can brush the floor three, four times a day. So yeah, that's not fun is it? Because it's me that ends up doing it. You don't care, do you? No. So yeah, and maybe water, but it's not a, not a problem anymore. Uh, if I'm local, if I'm around with the kids and stuff, uh, I go to a chippy and uh, yeah, they uh, fill my water for me. The friends also fill water. And if it comes to it that I'm really desperate, I'll buy some bottles of water from a supermarket. So yeah, that's not a problem. The, the only thing I did have to adapt to was uh, sink washing. <laughs> At night, fill the, close the curtains, hot water, shower gel, flannel. Strip off and uh, just basically go for it. That's all you have to do. And uh, yeah, there's no problem anymore. Never ever been moved on. Never had a knock. So you get the odd idiot going past with a horn beeping, but yeah, it's not a problem. One did it there a few weeks ago. But I was already in the driver's seat with the engine running, about to move off, and he come past really slow, beeping, and I moved. Oh my God, I didn't see him for dust. <laughs> so what are the best parts about living in a van? Freedom being one. And the, the adventures. You just board one place, you just get in, turn your key, and off you go. And find another adventure. Or somewhere nicer. You know. Because... I started my van life, don't forget, in the winter. So I've got all spring, summer and autumn to go through yet. So it's going to be some good times. I've also booked and got my ticket for Van Life Festival in Shrewsbury. I went last year and I was in the car camping. So this year I've rebooked and I'm going in the van. So I'm really looking forward to that. So if you're there, just give me a knock and yeah. We'll have a chat and a coffee. <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to that. But yeah, the uh, I haven't really done much proper adventuring. I do really want to go up Scotland. I'm hoping that's this year. So, and uh, the Lake District, I wouldn't mind. But I've heard hit and misses of the Lake District lately of uh, finding it hard to find camping spots. So. We'll have to wait and see on that one, but yeah, I do fancy uh, Scotland. Maybe another little negative is when you're moving off, you've got to make sure everything that's on your worktops, kettle, power stations, everything that's movable is on the floor or put away. And uh, obviously when you get to a park up, you've got to bring everything out again and then in the morning if you're moving off you put everything away but yeah 
once you get in the habit of it it's not too bad and what I've done on this side of it I bought that's the double sided sticky tip oh god it's a mess here look at that thinking heck tough come on but it's double sided sticky tape quite a big box that ain't going anywhere and all my coffees and uh, everything else are in there to hand so should I need to put something in there I can just put it in there for the journey but yeah it, it's, it's not a problem so and everything in here is 12 volt like my, cho my torches everything I'm charging is USB so and it's not a problem I only have one leisure battery so it's only died on me once but that was my fault I thought I turned the night heater the diesel heater off and I didn't I increased it the the power by one and then I just as soon as my head hits a pillow I'm out simple as that and I reached up thought I pressed off turned over yeah and I went asleep and uh, I woke up in the morning went to turn the diesel heater on because it was freezing but it was flashing I could see the light coming over so yeah my battery had drained but I started the engine started the diesel heater everything was fine went for the drive charged the battery back up so but that was my fault I left the bloody diesel heater on I got some battery lights just to help with you know not using the the leisure battery but I do have an all powers as you know in there it's a backup mainly but I have started charging my phone and everything else from that rather than using the leisure battery if I'm driving I'll use the uh, USBs I've got here I've got a couple here USBs the two amp on the bottom one amp on the top and same there but uh yeah if i'm going anywhere it's in there i don't know if you can see it there it is there the all powers so yeah and that one that one's been a good uh a good one really you know just for quick things so yeah i don't really have much negative about van life well my van life anyway i just really enjoy it that much so yeah yeah my son uh jakey lee he's on about hiring a camper van and we'll go off in the summer for a, a long weekend maybe friday to monday so yeah i think that would be the best way if you're thinking of doing this is to hire a camper van go for a weekend or a week and see how you get on but try not to go to too many campsites you know try the wild side of it you know just pulling up because that is the reality of van life campsites in the winter 95 percent are closed anyway so yeah you just find park ups and uh, they're not hard to find trust me but yeah putting things up on the wall just to make it look more homely is also a good idea you know well i've waffled on a bit long there then didn't i so i'm gonna make a coffee yeah i get asked you know what would you change in your van and uh, to be honest at this present time i wouldn't change anything So yeah, this van is what it is. It's it's a good layout for this van. So yeah. If I was to get another van, I'd probably go with a single seat version in the front so it swivels and have the kitchen down one side so you got clear way so you can get to the front. I can climb over, don't get me wrong, you know, if I need a situation where I gotta go without going outside or if it's hammering down with rain I can climb over she jumps over so we don't even have to leave the leave the van but it might be nicer in a way to have like an alley so you can get you can just walk into the into the driver's seat 
but at this moment in time I'm happy with what I've got here bloody awesome and I've got a coffee I don't know if you can see that steam oh, what do you want <laughs> you gonna talk hmm? Yeah. I just had some cheese and crackers and uh, she's had a couple so she's licking her lips yeah, you've got cheese in you yeah. oh god your breath that bloody breath <laughs> yeah I just brushed the floor again because she's been an ass and just hair come on on your bed you got a throat and your bed and you want to sit on my bloody duvet Yes, we're going to fall out, I'm telling you now, dog. And I know I'm going to lose. <laughs> yeah, before I moved off this morning, I checked the van's engine and uh, the oil was f oil's fine. I bought some coolant, so I put a full thing of coolant in. So, yeah, did me wash, me screen wash. So the engine's fine. It is a tiny little oil leak. But... I think I've topped in six months twice I think it is but uh, it was just off full so it wasn't in any danger and yeah I just put it back to full so and it's 20 to 12 now so yeah 15.8 degrees in here and there's no there's no heater on She's being an idiot. No, she does. She fights with herself. She jumps down. She jumps up. She jumps down. When she's down, she shakes herself. And it's just the hair goes bloody everywhere. And she's not even blowing her coat yet. But when I take it outside, I got a ferminator comb for it. And it, it's like a rake. It, it rakes the, the underneath coat. It doesn't harm the top coat, but it takes the bottom coat out. That's loose. And hardly anything comes off it outside, right? And I can brush it twice a day. And I do that religiously because I want her to get used to the being brushed. Because when she does start blowing her coat, I don't want her being naggy. So she's used to it. She comes there, she sits, she doesn't move. And I can bring her chin up and I can do under her chin, all her chest, everything. And barely anything comes off her. Yet she comes in the van, shakes, and it's just hair everywhere. Absolute nightmare. But you're bloody awesome, aren't you? Yes. I wouldn't be without you. No. Okay. One thing I did do, and I, I didn't film it because there are hundreds of videos of uh, inst installing them and that, and it took me ages. But I put these uh, proper curtains on now. <clears throat> Got the, the run rails, so, you know, the... They're a lot easier. So, yeah. They look bloody awesome. Got tie backs on them as well. So, yeah. And when they open like that, it makes the window look a lot bigger because the other ones used to sort of hang or go this way. So, yeah. Looks a lot bigger now, that window. Plus, there's no light bleed at all. So I'm thinking of getting some for the back windows, two lots, two smaller ones. Wait. Yeah, six months of letting the dog out the toilet, no matter what time. <laughs> oh, she brought me a stone. No. So yeah, what's it done for me? It's got me out of my depression. And that is no joke. Yeah, so that van, yeah, has done me a massive favour. So, yeah, obviously I have my down days, you know, I have my good days. 
mostly up days but yeah you do get the odd down day but I've learned to deal with it now so and uh, I just go for a drive somewhere pull up at a lake and enjoy the view even in the rain you know surprising what water does to you and puts a smile on you what do you know? yeah I'm buying that one <laughs> It's in the bushes somewhere. Oh my god, she's only got it. So yeah, this is my driveway. <laughs> uh, this is the back garden. For the next hour anyway. So that's basically it. If I get fed up with this, I'll move to another park up and have a different uh, view, you know. And people say to me, yeah, do you get used to the cold? No, you never, ever get used to the cold. Oh my God. You never see an Eskimo in uh, shorts, do you? So yeah, no, the cold, yeah, it is horrible. Get a diesel eater. And, uh, oh, 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 it's a game changer. Oh, it's coffee time. Oh, the magic of editing. Oh, bloody hell. I can hear her now, she's burned some energy off. Won't be an idiot now in the van, will you? Come on up. Right, in your bed. Go. So yeah, van life, eh? There's thousands doing it now as well. No matter where you go, you'll always have company. Make new friends. And, uh, yeah. If I could describe it in one word, awesome. And that's it. But it's how you make it as well. You can make it as hard and as easy as you want. At the moment, I'm making it easy for myself, you know? So, yeah. My kids are amazing. So I got no problems there now. So, there's uh, recently separated. You know, I didn't want to upset the, the apple of the kids, you know. I always wanted to be around for them. So, yeah, they're a lot more sturdy now in their ways and stuff. So they know I'm always here. And I'm over, even if I'm in the Peak District, I'm only an hour and a half away. So, yeah, there's a lot more travels coming up. So everything now has got its balance sort of thing. So, yeah. See what I mean? Good half hour of chasing a ball. Night night. But if you're going to move into a van, uh, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it over a winter period. Because, uh, like I say, I, I didn't have an option. But, yeah, if my dad had had an option, I would have left it till end of spring, early uh, summer. So, but I've got over the worst. So, as they say, it can only get better. <laughs> Good morning guys, I'm on the ledge, don't know if you can make that out out there, but yeah, it is raining and windy as hell, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, 10 to 9 now in the morning, so yeah, yeah, six months eh, yeah, it's just gone like that, so 
yeah, it's been bloody brilliant to be honest. So I'm gonna end this one here, guys. I know it's a bit of an abrupt ending, but yeah. Uh, I seem to be my videos just seem to be getting longer and longer, and uh, yeah, I try and bring them to a, a more watchable episode. So yeah. So I want to thank you all for watching anyway. If you got this far, oh brilliant! <laughs> and uh, if you're not subscribed, press subscribe. It'll help grow the channel. I'll be able to go different places in the summer and stuff. And yeah, it'll be bloody awesome. So take care, be good. But as always, guys, enjoy yourselves. Take care till the next one. Bye for now. She's eating. Bye. Bye.